Do you want to know how to get more power on your forehand and not lose direction? Stay tuned. Here's the world's number one player hitting a forehand. Notice how Djokovic sets up his feet and has good knee bend, produces a loop swing, and accelerates with his hips and torso. Here's a diagram of the scales of tennis court justice with control or ball direction on one end and power and ball speed on the other end. Notice on this diagram that control or ball direction includes body movements that create racket path, racket face at contact, which includes ball speed and spin on the left and power or ball speed is created by body movements to create that racket speed. Remember that power equals racket speed and racket speed equals ball speed. In addition, speed plus spin equals pace. Gaining this power will dominate the right side of the scale. Like Agassi, you have to prepare two sources for power. Number one is the legs have to bend and the right foot has to plant. The second is the left arm stretch and the torso coiling back. Sit in a chair to prepare. Sit to hit. For power, Vic Braden once said, you can't shoot a cannon from a canoe. This is an example of setting your feet, bending your knees, and powering through with your legs. Previous world number one, Kim Kleisters, is demonstrating the left arm stretch, the right foot plant, and bending the knees. The loop forehand swing is like a rock on a string. You'll notice that you get momentum in centrifugal force and you can fling the rock a long way. Very difficult to do that without that rotational energy. So try the loop swing if you can practice enough and it will help accelerate your swing. Here are a few pictures of the top pros using their power sources. Notice the legs bending with the power foot down and the left arm stretch with the torso coiling back. Here are a series of pictures of Maria Sharapova hitting her devastating forehand drive. Sit in a chair to prepare. Left arm stretch, torso coiling back. Here Maria drives forward and around more than up because it's short in the court. She's moving forward. Here Addie, who is a great athlete and new to the game, works on her technique for power and control. This is a wonderful start to a loop power forehand with the left arm stretch and the right foot planted, hitting an open stance forehand and accelerating the racket up and through. Addie's attention to detail and specifically working on the power forehand technique will only propel her game further and further as she practices and plays more matches. This racket cover is designed to slide when the racket accelerates. And you'll notice where it does that is near the bottom of the loop, ready to go up into the ball. If you are just starting out and you wonder what grip to use, I would recommend the semi-western forehand. The pad of the index finger is on bevel number four. 
note the red lines and the pin. So if you have power from a lot of racket head speed, you probably need control. Here is Djokovic hitting a ball with all his force vectors going into the ball. How does he control it? Racket path and contact point. Think of contacting the ball on an area the size of a quarter. This will help you hit to a direction more sincerely. Take a look at the quarter here where it's divided into four parts. You have direction up and left if your string bed hits on the right bottom quarter. If you hit it on the left bottom, it will go up and right. Contact anywhere above the equator, the ball will go down either left or right. The contact point is key to direction. Here is a contact point for a driving forehand to go straight ahead. Here is a contact point with an open racket face. Notice how high the ball goes with very little openness to the face. Six degrees of the racket face being open at contact on a hard hit ball will create a ball that goes six feet long. If the racket face flips over and closes before contact, the ball will go down even though the follow through looks as if it did not. Stretch the front arm back and across as you plant the right foot and bend the knees. Spring forward up and around. For control, contact the correct part of the quarter. This happens in four milliseconds. For control and power, know your racket path, racket contact point, and racket speed. Good luck and thanks for watching Tennis Online Professional Services.